Get over here! That's the same decision I made. Really? Yes. Cool. I chose to lock him up. You're gonna like this, by the way. Whew. That got heated. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> Morning, crooked man. <laughs> He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. There you go, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. <laughs> Good to see you doing well, Flycatcher. Hans. Look at that. They're all smiling. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Snow is uh, now the appointed mayor. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to see you, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this. Wait, we decided that Colin should stay? I guess. Apparently. I've never had that happen. You, oh, it, no, wait, because we said Snow White might change your mind. Maybe? That's weird because I I made I made decisions to try and keep him here, but it always had him go. What did you do different? I don't know. Did Was it because you didn't say anything? Maybe. Oh, man. Uh, oh, Gowan! Jesus! Him, on the other hand. We only have like five minutes. Uh, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. I know this isn't your ideal situation here. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Mm. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Yeah. Sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you <laughs> if you touch them. That's real nice. She said it was pretty. Aww. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B, where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Right, 
I saw I fought. Saying goodbye? Hello. I almost didn't recognize her. Yeah, right? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Mm. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Larissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Hmm. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And I had to watch while Georgie... Wait. So Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Get the well, you said. I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all Remember this. Remember that fabric we found? I just mm -hmm. Jeans. pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, 
Everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Hmm. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. You and I were just looking at each other. We were like, oh, man. Mm -hmm. Ah. Faith and Nerissa. Yeah. Ah. And that, in turn, is going to lead into the next game, I imagine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, by, by the way, guys, uh... If you guys thought that this was going to be the last you're going to see of Ignis on this channel, heck no. We are playing through the second game when it comes out. And we're doing it blind completely. Oh, we're yeah. both going to be in the dark on that one. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you think? Oh, this was good. I, oh, I, I love man. this. Like, we... This is probably the... Ep like, this might as well be the silent episode. Like, a walkthrough or something. Because you and I were just, like, not talking throughout any of this. Mm-mm. Uh, so, let's see how you did. 31% of players left Georgie to die. Which you weren't going to do, but you clicked it too late. I know, I feel bad. Uh-huh. 89.6% 89 89 of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. I'm actually curious to see what would have happened if uh, you didn't. I don't, know, I don't know how that would play out. 47% of players chose to imprison the Crooked Man. So the majority, I think. Like, mm -hmm. almost half the players, and there were three choices. Yeah. You can either throw him down the witching well, imprison him, or rip his head off yourself. Oh, yeah. Which I'm honestly curious to see now. 98.5% um, of players decided to accept TJ's gift for snow. That's good! Yeah. Don't I be a dick to TJ. Yeah, seriously, TJ's great. Like, his father is, like, leaves something to be desired, but I honestly want to know, like, what you did so that Colin was able to stay. I still have no idea. Because here's the thing, like, I'm pretty sure, I think it's possible to make it so that um, Toad and TJ stay, but I haven't found it. I even gave them, like, you remember the money that uh, you found in Crane's jacket during the fourth chapter? I took it with me and I gave it to, to uh and I gave it to uh Toad to give to to give to a witch to get a glamour hmm. and yet it didn't go through. Really? Like he still had to go. Huh. Is it impossible to get TJ to stay? Or to get Toad and TJ to stay? I, I literally want to know this. You and 58 54.8% of players said I hope I've done some good here. So, the majority, I think. Now, let's see. Special stats. Uh, you lied to the beast about seeing beauty, and you promised beauty not to tell him. So, you kind of kept your end of the bargain on both ends there. You fought him after the interrogation. Yeah, you can actually let Bluebeard beat the crap out of uh, wo the woodsman if... Uh, uh, if you... Uh, yeah. Colin... You gave him the drink when he asked for one in the apartment, and you helped him avoid the farm. Huh. Uh, crooked Man, you took him back to the Witching Well, and you imprisoned him. Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Georgie, you left him to die, and you smashed his place up. <laughs> you were not kind to Georgie at all. Yeah. Uh, you brought her along with you to the Trip Trap, and you promised to bring the Crooked Man back alive. You chose to wait for Tiny Tim. 
TJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. And Woody, you chose to arrest arrest him at the Trip Trap Bar instead of uh, the Tweedled brother. I think it was Tweedled D. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whatever happened to them, actually, now that I think about it. I don't know. Like, the Crooked Man is in prison now, and... And now, we still have the Jersey Devil to worry about, too. Yeah, the Jersey Devil is still out there somewhere. Like, I'm gonna let the credits run here. Of all the people in the Crooked Man's posse, Georgie Porgy's dead, and so is, uh... Vivian. So is Vivian, for that matter. Bloody Mary's dead. Mm hmm Maybe. Like I, I'm pretty sure she is because she would she would not be she would be too proud to retreat after fighting like with fighting Bigby. I think I'm pretty sure she's dead. Yeah. We saw too. blood on uh, Bigby's mouth after the res like as a result. Mm -hmm. So of everyone that's still alive within the Crooked Man's posse, we have the Tweedle Brothers, the Jersey and Devil, the, the Jersey Devil, and that's it. Yeah. Like it's just those three. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, though. You spared Tweedledum. True. So, that's another agent that we might possibly have to deal with come the second game. Yeah. If you had killed Tweedledum uh, during the first transformation, we would only have to deal with D and the Jersey Devil. Maybe. Who knows who else uh, the Crooked Man... Another agent that we may or may not have to deal with because he's technically off the hook now, Crane. Oh, yeah. Bloody Mary's dead. The Crooked Man is imprisoned. There's nothing holding Crane back anymore. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we know where he is. He's in Paris. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing stopping Bigby and Snow from going after him at this point. Oh, yeah. So what else? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the uh, story is going to continue into. But that little bit with Nerissa and Faith is a little telling of what might happen. The Puddin' and Pie is out of business, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And yeah, there you go. Um, you can continue the story uh, with the graphic novel. The graphic novels are actually pretty good. I have a couple of them myself in my room. They're actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah. And for those of you wondering about uh, Big B and Snow, Big B is like, I don't even know where we stand at this point. They eventually actually do get you know, together, all that jazz. And they also have adorable little werewolf babies. They do, actually. <laughs> you looked into that, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, we can actually look into the extras, and the cool thing about this game is, like, you can actually look into everything else here. Like, you can, uh, like, you can look into, uh, like, all the, uh, biographies, uh, all the different characters. Yeah, like, with, uh, with how we did it, Crane out of the picture, um, Snow is now the appointed, uh, uh, director and deputy mayor. She's also been doing it for years, honestly, like, mm -hmm. because, let's face it, Crane was terrible at his job. Oh, yeah. Um, Fable Town Justice, yep, and all that jazz. These are the things you kind of unlocked. Um, there are a couple of things that we didn't unlock. You'd have to go through multiple playthroughs to do it. Um, I don't know about the donkey skin, like, donkey skin coat, but, like, I don't know what this one is. This one you can unlock in Chapter 4, so I'm pretty sure it has something to do with, um, what's it called? With the Jersey Devil's Place? Mm -hmm. Um, this one, I have a pretty good feeling you will unlock if you burn her tr if you burn, uh, Auntie Greenleaf's tree. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what I think anyway. I don't know about this one next to Nerissa and, uh, Vivian. Um, it might be... It might be that one girl that we saw Hans with. Oh, yeah. We only interacted with Hans, like, once. Yeah. Um, I don't know Hans' star. Like, I'm pretty sure it's Hansel. Yeah, I think like, that's... Like, Hansel and Gretel. That's what I was thinking, that, too. That's what I'm thinking, too. Oh, it's probably Gretel. Yeah, actually. That girl might be Gretel. Yeah. Now that I think about it, because... Hans and Gwen. Remember Vivian mentioned Gwen? Oh, yeah. Hans and Gwen. Hansel and Gretel. That girl that was with Hans is probably Gwen. Mm. Because she had the ribbon. Oh, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. And we also, when we also saw her uh, come out of the open arms when she was with the officer. Mm. So there's that. I don't know how to unlock this. I think this one you unlock if you don't give 
flycatcher a job, mm. I think. Like, this is just me kind of guessing at this point. Um, and there's Bigby's, like, okay, I think there's three different things you can do with Bigby here. Like, there's obviously Bigby Wolf himself, and here, Bigby's Mercy. Um, this is basically, uh, telling the story of when Bigby, uh, kind of is, um, actually, now that I think about it, let me see. Uh, yada yada, one day he broke the ranks, uh, particular one, yeah. Bigby's Mercy is basically talking about, uh, how he is as a pacifist. Not so much a pacifist, but, like, he shows ferocity, but he's kind-hearted in the end. I'm pretty sure that these two have s no, this one in particular is Bigby's Rage. Mm. Or something along those lines, yeah. and this you unlock probably if you are malicious with Bigby. Oh, yeah. There actually is an evil route you can take in this game. And it's basically being violent throughout the entire playthrough. This one you unlock in the second chapter, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with uh, Bluebeard. Right. As a Yeah, Bluebeard's Mercy. So I'm pretty sure that's Bluebeard's Wrath or something like that. Yeah. Um, aside from that, you can also check uh, achievements. Let me actually see what uh, you got here. You got a bunch. Uh... Uh, that's, uh, completing the episodes. Um. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's all just completing episodes, it seems. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, there's a full moon. Earn every achievement in every episode. Um. Unlock all the Book of Fables on entries. Uh, Happily Ever After. Yada yada. What else we got here? Are there any achievements that are specific? Master Librarian, unlock all the... Okay, so we haven't gotten all of those yet. Yeah, I think the achievements are just, like, going through the game and kind of, like, unlocking the, uh, Book of Fables, which goes... Which is basically just discovering everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think the achievements are all that significant in this game that I, now that I look at it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, so... I believe that's pretty much it. That one looks scary. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for joining us for this playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. I am the Green Scorpion. And I am Ignis. And, like I said, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, this was a fun playthrough. I had, a, I had a good time. How about you? I had a lot of fun, too. Yeah. And, um, for those of you wondering, um, Ignis and I have a couple of projects, uh, that are coming, going to be coming up as well that you can, uh, look forward to. Um... Ignis isn't really going anywhere, honestly. One, she's my girlfriend. <laughs> Love yeah. you. Love you too. And she's also my channel artist, so all those thumbnails that you see on my videos, that's her doing, which is awesome. Um, other than that, um, basically at this point, we're just going to be waiting for The Wolf Among Us 2 to come out, and we're going to be playing through that, and yep. I'm excited about it. So, other than that, um, thank you guys. Um, it was awesome, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play. Take care. Bye-bye.